Today we will compare three most successful antiplatelet and rank them at the end of this video. Starting with the recommended dose. For clopidogrel it is 75 mg twice a day. For prosogrel it is 10 mg once a day. And for ticagrelor it is 90 mg twice a day. Next is how much it costs in a single day. For clopidogrel the approximate price for 15 tablet is around 100 rupees. So one tablet will cost 6.6 .6 rupees. It means it will be approximate 13 rupees per day. For prosogrel the approximate price for 10 tablet is around 250 rupees. So one tablet will cost 25 rupees. It means it will be approximate 25 rupees per day. And for ticagrelor the approximate price for 14 tablet is around 400 rupees. So one tablet will cost 28 rupees. It means it will be approximate 56 rupees per day. Next is how many days someone has to discontinue these medicines before planning any kind of surgery. If someone is taking clopidogrel he has to discontinue it for 3 or more than 3 days before any surgery. For prosogrel taking person it is 7 or more than 7 days of discontinuation. And for ticagrelor it is 5 or more than 5 days of discontinuation. Next is age cut off. For clopidogrel there is no age cut off but it is actually better for elderly people with age more than 70 years in compare to other two competitor. For prosogrel the age cut off is 70 or more than 70 years of age. And for ticagrelor the age cut off is 80 or more than 80 years of age. Risk of cardiovascular events. With clopidogrel the risk of cardiovascular events like myocardial infraction or thrombotic occlusion is higher than prosogrel and clopidogrel. Prosogrel and ticagrelor both has almost same risk of cardiovascular events but prosogrel is slightly better than ticagrelor. Next is risk of bleeding. With clopidogrel the chances of bleeding is quite low in comparison to other two that's why it is recommended in elderly patients. Prosogrel has the higher chances of bleeding than ticagrelor that's why ticagrelor has 10 more years of age cut off. Efficiency. Ticagrelor leads the race of efficiency. While prosogrel comes second and clopidogrel finishes last. Finally let's rank them. Clopidogrel comes third because of its less efficiency and slightly higher risk of cardiovascular events. While prosogrel manages second place and ticagrelor becomes best antiplatelet with less chances of cardiovascular events and bleeding and has better efficiency. But still clopidogrel is still the highest selling antiplatelet in market because of its less costing, while ticagrelor is second in selling and prosogrel is third best.